Okay, there we go. I should be uh should be coming through, right? Oh yeah, took a little while as uh, I actually just got back from finishing up an effect. Just a little one, uh, just a quick one today. Uh, it was, uh, oh, I tweeted it actually. It was my character just doing a bit of a dance in the nightclub, the GTA 6 nightclub, that is. Uh, it was a little awkward uh, getting the lighting right because the clip I had was of my character in bright daylight against a green screen. And the clip I'm trying to fit him into is... Uh, like kind of dark and oh flashing lights all over the place so a bit tricky but i imagine a decent job given the given the circumstances anyway anyway you're not here to hear that we have five watching let's get through the chat we've got rjk we've got alfin yoko griffin very base we got car crash we got tool we got eric watley we have ac my own uh my personal guide for uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Very base. The professional got GTA 6. Ah. Wow. I, I, I gotta check that out. I, oh, yeah, there's lots of gritty. I, I had another dancing one there. I took the shot where the man's trying to pull the gator from the pool, and I had my one doing his old uh, runner dance just on the side. It's, uh, I got them from Burnt Toast, the same person who helped me out with my old, uh, my old intro on the aircraft carrier. Uh, he, he has, uh, GTA on PC and knows a little about mods and that kind of thing. And, uh, was able to get my character doing all sorts of goofy poses and gritty dances. And, uh, yeah, he got me a load of footage against a green screen. So, uh, my character will be around in the trailer. Usually in shots where I just don't know what to put, like it's, uh, some of them are very difficult. Like the one I did today, I'm quite happy with myself for that because it was a very difficult one. It's like, hmm, what do we put here? There's, uh, not much to track. There's not much to, uh, it's indoors. Like you can't just have a helicopter coming or, but, uh, yeah, my character dancing with all these people dancing, bit just right in uh, also, you might be a little curious, uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake is uh, on my recently played stuff. The other night, just spontaneously out of the blue, I remembered, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a load of mercenary stages that I didn't do. And I did one of them. I uh, did, I forget what they call it in the remake, but it's the, the sort of the newest map with the big chainsaw man that swings around the double chainsaw. And though, you know, though the platforms rising and falling. Uh, I did that with Leon. It's pretty good. A uh, bit rusty at it, but uh, it was good fun. I got that recorded. Gonna have to upload that at some point. Unfortunately, I lost all the transparent logos like Resident Evil 4, the mercenaries, all of that. All of those are on my tablet, which died. Uh, that, that's annoying. But uh, anyway, why don't we get into this? Uh, got two there as well. I've got the original here. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's, it's the really annoying bit is you can feel there's a bit of a vibration when you press the on button. So you put the power on button and you feel a little bit of a vibration. So it's like... Just enough that you know there's some semblance of life in there, but it never comes back on. It just is blank. Oh, God. Right. We were about to go to another planet, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there are savers. We finished things up on this one. We went into that sort of cave area and found that there was... Uh, this map with all the different parts of like, oh, you know, there's, it was all to do with a star forge. There was like, oh, you know, there's a missing bit of a map here. Maybe you want to check that place out. So, where are we going, everyone in the chat? You get to choose a planet. The chat gets to choose a planet. So, Dantuing is where we are. 
gonna have to forgive me if I butcher these as well. My uh, my Star Wars pronunciation is a bit off. So we got tattooing, Kashik, Kashik, or I think that's Wookie Land. Oh yeah, each one says its native species and where it is. So this is a temperate glass grassland where we are, not glass rand. Uh, so no one's native here, but people have settled. This one, the Jawas, uh, sand people. That sounds very racially charged, but okay. <laughs> This one's land of the sand people. Um, Anchorhead settlement. This one is land of the Wookiees. Very based. Big hairy people. Um, Manan. The Selkath live there. Korriban. Some are settled, but no one's native there. And I think there's like a big Chungus monster there somewhere. Yaving. Where is Yaving? Because I don't remember anyone mentioning Yaving, but there it is. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I well, I'm seeing some Wookie votes. I see two Wookie votes. Uh it's up. Does anyone want anything else, or am I pretty safe to go with? Uh, Wookie land. I think we'll go there. Yeah, we'll do it. Ah, uh, let's go for it. Pretty based uh, people there. Uh. Right, that's getting copyright claimed. Oh, Star Wars music. There we go. Ah. Ah, you're good, uh. Yoko Griffin. Ooh, look at us go. Oh. Oh, so should I bring him uh, out? Hey, hey, we got Sinister. We're going to go to Wookiee Land, Sinister. Got 10 memberships gifted. Luna Whimsy got one. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is oh, operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. <laughs> Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Oh. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Oh, one moment. One moment. Add uh, sinister up here. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was Didn't there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive. What a sussy barker. Possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time. Uh, common Lord soldiers? Karen. Wow. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Man, I, w I wish you could pause in the clip so I could quickly get to this stuff. Oh, look, Heather. Heather, Heather, Heather. Is she having a bit of a dream? Or was that her dream there? Oh, no. So she's seeing a, uh, a map. Wow, lame dream. I thought there would be more to it than that. No way, I'll be in a chat in one moment. I just don't want to. I don't want to be too obnoxious and just blur out over all of the dialogue, so I left. 
especially be the Wookiees, because they have very, very important things to say. I don't imagine I do car crash. I, don't, I have very little knowledge of this, really. The Force has given us a vision. The Force has given us. Oh, oh, never mind. Vision. Like the one we shared on Dantuin. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. Okay, we got a break. We got a break. Right, now I can get into it. Sorry about that, Sinister. You know, I, I don't want to be on it. No, no, just blur out over all of the dialogue. Anyway, Luna Whimsy has got one, as I was saying. Minky Minx got one. Some of you may know Minky Minx. She's, uh, honestly a bigger streamer than I am these days. I see her with, like, oh, what, like 30, 50 people or watching those GTA streams. Very based person, anyway. Uh, quite amped. BML's got one. Melvin D Engineer's got one. Josh DePro, Buzzard MGs, talk about base. Uh, Chuck Clutch, Zap4298, uh, Alex Tremo, and we have a Spotify admin there. And we have, a, on top of those 10 memberships that she just gifted, we got $20, and the most generous act of all, she said, Heather, 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 which is a very generous gift. I, I agree. I Heather, Heather, Heather. Sinister is very heavy. So heavy, I, I would say. Yeah, I, I do hate spoilers. I I'm very I'm very racist against spoilers. They they're not welcome around here, spoilers. They're, they're not I don't like them. Yeah. Wookiees look like interesting tastes. Can't tell. Maybe like bear. Maybe closer to koala tasting. I am not of knowings. I am not of knowings. <laughs> oh, we got a Chinese man over chat. Oh, we got Pixel. I, I wish I could give Pixel a cuddle. She's, she's such a nice big dog. Very heroic. Quite amped. Good dog. Oh, so they walk like women. So. Kashaik or Kash... I, I gotta pay attention to how they pronounce that. It's a lush but simple and undeveloped world. Wow, 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 judgy much. They're, 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 they're more complex than they look, the Wookiees. You would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. I don't have time for your visions. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll say that. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home Kashyyyk. among the Rosha branches. Only the bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Okay. So... We have our very own Wookiee on this ship, so I think we've got to bring... As much as I love Karf's dialogue, and I like her... No, no, oh, wait, wait, calf? No, no, not calf. Uh, I mean, the, you know, the other one. Uh, as good fun as what's-his-name is, the, uh, the Mandalorian one. Uh, yeah, as good fun as he is, I feel we got to bring out our Wookiee on this one. I mean, it's his homeland. Calf. Yeah. Uh, and she's pretty good for heels, but... Uh, uh, okay. Jerky sticks made from bear. Oh, wow. Are you rich? I don't think she's rich. Uh, she's very generous, though. Very heavy. Check the storage room compartments. Will do. Aha. Good Wookiee. Wouldn't want to talk over that dialogue now, would I? Ah, well, 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 maybe we'll bring him and Jahani then. Oh, wow. It was cabbage, I bet. I think 
he should like sing his own album or something. Um, yeah, let, let, let's find out. Let's find out what Cabbage has been doing in the storage hold. We got a little green man on board. I know this is a spaceship and everything, but we, we can't have little green men on there. I never do remember my way around this place. Can she make anything yet? How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Make stuff. Ah. Oh. Of course. The Wookiee is Heather. The Wookiee's very Heather, actually. I bet the Wookiee would be like, Heather, Heather, Heather. Yeah, what do you want? Uh. <laughs> Here's a strength boost. Is there anything else? Take a few of them, I guess. <laughs> Here's a strength. Is there anything else you need? <laughs> Here's a speed boost. Is there anything else? <laughs> Here's a stamina. Is there anything else you need? <laughs> Here's this. <laughs> Here's a speed boost. Is there anything else you need? <laughs> Here's a speed. Is there anything else? <laughs> Here's a speed. He's giving out a lot, isn't need? he? <laughs> Here's a stamina. Is there anything else? Hey, don't worry. Okay. A real warrior. Is there anything else? We, we, a real warrior knows his limits. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Yeah, I bet that cabbage tried to eat the Wookiee. Oh look, look, look! We got we got the Cookie Queen here. We got we got Jade Heverful. Jade Jade saw my my legendary dance as well in the uh, in the nightclub of GTA 6. It was very good. She uh, yeah, it was pretty spectacular. Quite based. He is our friendly neighborhood drug dealer. Also, Jade is very heavy. Quite amped. Alright, who's been in our supplies? Is it cabbage? I, I, I think it could be. Alright, cabbage. Moment of truth. Strangely, the food storage seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this. So there must be some other explanation. Let's examine them more closely. There are no half-eaten or torn packages to indicate the theft was from pests or vermin. It looks more like some unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids on your stores. It was quite a heavy dance. That's like the best compliment a dance can get. Whoever the thief is, they have managed to avoid detection by you or your companions so far. Maybe a thorough search of the ship will reveal the stowaway. So heavy. Oh wow, we got Chippy there. It could have been Chippy. You have a note. Chippy's no pest. He's, he's a big chungus. So he could have gotten there. Okay, we, we gotta search this ship then. Is he hiding in a box? Where is Chippy? There we go. I was quite pleased with uh, getting the lights to sort of interact with him. It was, it was quite heavy of a move, so I, I would say it was a true gritty dance, really. Hey, Cabbage, Chippy, where... You think you hear the soft patter of footsteps behind you, but they disappear. Mm, we'll find you. It's either a big chungus rat or a, a little green man. It's gotta be. Well, if they were behind me, that would be around here, wouldn't it? The Viving Cat is very good. There's a wool compartment in the storage room. Ah. 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 
This appears to be some type of hidden smuggling compartment. Without proper codes, you will not be able to open it. And we'll, we'll, we'll find whoever this is. I hear the... But when I stop to listen, they disappear behind me. Chung guy on my ship, Summer. No, 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 you're good, Sinister. Don't worry about that. You're good. You're good. This is very base, by the way. Very heavy. I'll, uh, I'll probably... What day was it we decided was going to be director's cart? I think it might have been Saturday, maybe, or... Probably Saturday, yeah. Since this is very amped. Quite heavy, I would say. I hear the echo of footsteps coming from the direction of a cargo hold. Okay, so they're, they're in the cargo hold somewhere then. Sounds like they're coming from the cargo hold. There we are! Bonanakichu. Get this little shit out of here. Uh, eh, we will be nice enough. Oh, yes, yeah, Saturday. Saturday will do then. Sinister so heavy, by the way. True heavy, I, I would say. Quite heavy. Mucho shakapaka. Uh, what are we gonna do here? What would Heather do? Apparently, we know her name is Sasha. And we got a journal entry. We have encountered a young girl on board the Iron Hawk. Obviously, a stowaway. The language she speaks, while sounding like Mandalorian, translates into pure gibberish. She may know the language, but she certainly doesn't know how to use it. And yet, it seems to be the only language she knows. It might be possible to try talking to her. But dumping her on the planet is also a possibility. I, I could ever! Yeah. Ah! That's for girl the space twink was talking about. We've got to bring her back then, haven't we? Let's try have a word of her. Let's see if we can, uh... Also, Mandalorian? Maybe, uh... What's his name with no? Let's find out what's going on with her. Hey, hey, stop running off. Mucho shakapaka. Let's see. <laughs> you have to leave my ship. Okay. She doesn't know shit, does she? My name is Heather Mason. Oh my god, I, I get any opportunity to say my name is Heather Mason. Gotta do it. Yeah, that's who I was thinking. Kendall will, uh. Mucho shakapaka. Waba Susa Sasha. Okay. Do you know a twink by the name? Tonki ba non tontek. Kipuna. Bonanakichu. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 
let's see. Yeah, Candelorian. I'm not going to say his name in case she doesn't want to be found and it might make her panic. Oh, we got experience points? I should try all the other dialogue then. Hmm. See, I'm getting the feeling maybe she doesn't, maybe he's a baddie to twink and maybe he doesn't, maybe she doesn't want to be found. So I'm wary about trying that dialogue. Okay. Oh, oh, we we gotta figure it out then. Is that not good? Tonki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun. Tong abuk shami no no. Bristag mi lefsa. Muchashakapaga. Tong abuk shami no no. Tonki ba non tontek. Kipuna. Bona na Oh, 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 oh. And rather angry. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Why does it say the girl smiles, but then she has this really angry sound in her? Well, that sounded kind of agreeable, like. She's laughing. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shaka paga. Selima wanga kun beef king. Kipona. Bona na kichu. Oh, 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 good. Kipona. Bona na kichu. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tonkiba non tontek. <laughs> hmm. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na non tontek. Kipuna, bona. Kipuna, bona. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Tong ki ba. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shaka paga. Selima wanga kun beef king. Nah, nah, I'm really curious. Have I fucked this up? I, am I meant to. Maybe there's a, a limited amount of wrong answers you get. Tong ki ba non tontek. Mucha shaka paga. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tell me about you. Mucha shaka paga. Sorry, it's game. <laughs> Selima wanga kun beef king. Kipona, bona na kichu. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tong abuk shami no nok. It's not your home, Sasha.
Well, I can already guess that the Mandalorians are not very, very nice. They tend to sort of kill people, don't they? Um, He was sleeping in the ship's repair docks. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, we, we can't, chicken egg, we can't. Well, no, she is a trespasser on this glorious ship. Selima wanga kun bikin. Mucha shaka paga. Are we going to tell her it's not our home? Hmm, I, well, we can't do that, can we? <laughs> Let's ask her about... Uh, what's his name? Selima wanga kun bikin. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha shaka paga. Selima wanga. Kipona. Bon. Tong ki ba. Tong abuk shami. Tonki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun. Yeah, let's ask about the space twink. Okay. Does the name space twink ring a bell? Doesn't understand. Okay, let's try her language. Tong abuk shami no nok. There's nothing. Hmm. Hmm. After considerable effort, you have managed to communicate with a young stowaway whose name appears to be Sasha and learn what she was doing aboard the ship. Apparently, she was once held by the Mandalorians, long enough to learn their speech but nothing else, and she escaped from them long enough to stow away on the Ebon Hawk and hide. Her original home seems to be Dantuang. Perhaps someone there can help her. Ah, so the space twink's not dangerous then. I, I was worried like maybe the space twink had... Maybe she was running from space twink, but... Space twink is alright. Okay, uh... We'll be back to, um, Wookiee Land in a moment then. I think we have to bring this girl, uh... Over to Space Twink, don't we? I, I could, oh, oh, I could ask Kando if he knows the language properly. I mean, he's, he's Mandalorian, isn't he? he Yeah, what do you want? Um, I don't want him to, like, do something, uh... What? You think I don't have something better to do? Alright, oh, oh, ease up. Jesus Christ. Let's talk to the others about her. Now, the way she's wording it, I don't think I will. Um, we're just gonna bring her back. Okay. I'm gonna assume the twink's alright. Uh, I don't really trust the space twink, but... What 
can you do? The candle's very fiery. Oh god, I always get lost. Yeah, I, I was just a bit wary of Space Swing, but he's... Oh, oh god. She didn't, she didn't seem to be alarmed when I mentioned his name, so it's... I guess the Space Twink is alright. Now, where, where's the pilot seat again? It's gotta be up this way, hasn't it? Okay, we will return to Wookiee Land very soon. I make a save before I uh, talk to him now. Oh, 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 who did that? Oh my god. Uh. Oh god. Get back here. Ha <laughs> ha I got a shot on him. Can't aim low enough to get that one though. There we go. Literal space combat. He's wasted. Oh, thank God for that. Very dark times. Jesus Christ. Remember he was chased by a green nemesis. It kept saying sad cat, sad cat, sad cat. Ever? stars and it was shooting rockets at you those are dark times indeed in yeah, dark times we got attacked by a bunch of green ships ah oh, so we gotta talk to them all Even cough. Oh my god, he's such a pain in the ass. Fucking cough. Uh, right. We're gonna save. We are going to um talk to the twink. You aim like a droid. You aim like a droid. Right, where, where is the... There she is. Right, you are here now. You can romance, calf? Don't fucking well think so. <laughs> Oh, 
My god, really? You can? Ugh. Fuck that. Um... Ugh. It seems tense and wary. Do I have to? Can't she just get over herself? How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? How do I make sure that I do not romance him? I mean, I want the quest, but I don't want to. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not into cough like that. What is it you would like to speak to me about? I don't particularly want to speak to you. You're the one that tensed up. I, I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. More time would do me good. Time to distance myself from that anger. I think that is why the Council agreed to send me with you. They think, perhaps, that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. I thank you for your concern and your acceptance. I will strive to prove that I am worthy of your company and trust. <laughs> then, I'm a, then I'm not getting that quest, then. Fuck that. I'd rather just... just Go my own way, then, romance. <laughs> may I be of assistance? What is it you would... How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. So you can't get the extra quest with him, then? Unless you, like, do sussy things with him. Because I, I would hate to have to do that. <laughs> well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my home. Boring! <laughs> Especially where I lived. The hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image. <laughs> and the music just stopped abruptly. Maybe I was one of those children. I could have her, Fright. I could have her. I could have her. <laughs> and romancing anyone is one thing, but romancing calf. I think, like. <laughs> Jahani! Jahani! Jahani is considered the first lesbian? She may declare she likes you later in the endgame. Huh? Huh? I, I want all this going on. Yes. Yes, I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old. And maybe a little enamored. Talking about space, I <laughs> see. <laughs> they were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that oh, for moment fuck's on, sake. I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. But this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not here for, but like, some I have been Star Wars space dating, Sim. I... see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Yeah, you just I shove it up your me. ass and not like that. Um... Right. Um, I don't, I don't think the Wookiee usually likes to talk about himself. He's like... Yeah, 
I'm not, I'm not going to be pushy with the Wookiee. Well, I, I don't want to go with lesbian cat women or, or fucking... I'd rather go with a lesbian cat woman than calf, but like, Jesus Christ. That's not saying much. Right. Well, there we go. Space twink. Ikunkulmo <laughs> <laughs> if the reward is sufficient. No, I, I could have a fright. I, I could have a. I could have a. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotak. Tok ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Alright, space twink. Achuta. Looks like cabbage, doesn't he? Literally cabbage. Alright then. Space Twink on board. You don't have a mason, was correct. Yeah, but I'm not doing stuff with calf. Tipuna, bona na kichu. Oh, oh god, oh, oh. Kachi ita hodunga. Dong abuk shami no nok. Just go. <laughs> what does this mean? He he bad, you no know safe for. Wait, they do that in Saints Row Four. Oh wow. Well, I feel like that's the wrong answer, or that's the, the bad one. So. Or maybe I said he's good, I don't know. Alright, Space Twink, let's get things moving. Light side points, XP 310, journal entry added. Uh, that seems like a good outcome, doesn't it? Oh, oh, off they go! Telling me to do sussy things and calf. Where is he? Fucking calf. No. Do they have a thing? They're always going on and on about, oh, oh there's, a, there's a strong, strong bond. Oh, oh. <laughs> I will have her embrace Scarf. Up his ass. Fucking calf. My god. Take mission out. Wait, we're gonna kill her? <laughs> Why do I want to take mission out? We're gonna kill her? Oh, 
can't kill space, mate. <laughs> I I would have a fright. I would have. My God, though, calf. Jesus Christ. To enable her quest, where we kill her, where we're gonna take her out. Yeah, we could shove lightsabers up his head. He might enjoy that. <laughs> Okay, well we were we will visit the new planet, but I guess we gotta sort out people's quests, don't we? I haven't really been talking to them very much, eh? Not that kind of leader. I did I did go and do my thing. Is this our old home then I guess or less than free Uh we'll bring a Wookiee with us for good measure. Yeah, yeah, because they're a team, actually, yeah, so. Fucking calf, Jesus. <laughs> it seems rather distant. Mm, what else is new? Hey there, what can I do for you? I'm not the one you should ask about Dantooine. I didn't even know there was a Jedi Academy here. I always thought it was just a bunch of settlers and farmers. Sorry I can't be more help, you know? Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh... I mean, I don't particularly want to be pushy, but it, if that's what we do... Bastilla too. Oh, wait, Bastilla has a thing here? I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the canteen. Oh! I used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credit. He does sound Griff a bit. Never give her the oh! She was used to, no matter how hard he worked. Sounds like a thought to me, but what do I know? You know, it's so how much she stopped. Alright, that's clearly wrong answer. She's not gonna like that. Uh, did Lena dump him? I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Maybe the fuck came good. Uh, let's just not make any judgment there. Let's just ask what happened. Yeah, space. We got space bait. We got space fart. We got space twinks. We got space everything. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off world. Half the space fudge. He made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Yeah, we gotta go to the space for to a space nunnery. He promised me as soon as we made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And then he abandoned her. Ah. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff but good. She twisted him around her little oh, finger wow. and forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Wait, how do we activate a quest then? Oh yeah, we do get space fanboys. Time to tell Heli to play the coughing of Andy and Lele on PC. What is this? I'm not the one you should sorry I can't be more help. Don't worry. I won't let Okay, have it. 
Did I fuck it up? Where's the quest? Oh, oh! The f uh? Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? <laughs> oh dear. Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat! Oh that god! I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop. Oh up. my god! <laughs> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Jesus Christ! Alright, well the thing is, we don't have to stay with this space fall. Whereas space bait is part of the team. So to keep things good with someone who's part of the team, we should probably side with whoever's part of the team. So, so uh... I feel like that's the wrong answer though, I feel like it's not as it was put. Walk and talk adventure of light puzzling. Brother and sister practice cannibalism after witnessing a botched satanic ritual. Wow, that sounds sus. Whoa. Ooh. This is far out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yes, yeah, space forward. You, you took her away. Ah, ha, ha. You've got your facts a little backwards. Mission could have come with us if she wanted to. It was her choice to stay behind. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. So Griff was the bad one all along. Wow, this sounds sus. Mmm... She's not gonna want to hear that, is she? Uh... Maybe you thought you were better off on Terrace. Or do... do we question her? Does she have some sort of proof? Hmm... Yeah, Lena. Why, 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 why do we believe you? Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too, as soon as I ran out of money. He started blaming me for all of his problems, like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. All right, Gr yeah, we we got a fine Griff. And waste him. You see that big sword that the Wookiee's holding there? <laughs> yeah, you're Griff. <laughs> you got someone to pay you a visit. Still on Tatooine, as far as I know. Not that I really care anymore. And if Mission was smart, she'd forget about that no-good con artist. But Griff is my brother. I, I just can't pretend he doesn't exist. If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. <sighs> hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table-dancing, brother-stealing, home-wrecker. <sighs> I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Also, how for Yoko Griffin? What have you been up to? Oh my god. No, nothing. Yeah. Space for motherfucker. So we we gotta kill Griff then. Hey there. What can I do for Don't tell me you believe Lena's lies. 
Griff might be working as a miner on Tatooine, but the rest of her story is Bantha Poodoo. You can't trust someone like her. At least Griff's free of her clutches. I'd like to go speak to the Circa Corp rep on Tatooine if we have time. Maybe I can arrange to see my brother again. I kind of want to go to Wookiee Land. But at the same time... We've we got to waste her brother as well. Yeah, they're very judgmental about her, her occupation. Mm. Even if she is a space fox. You know. Space fox have rights to <laughs> Just hope he's not in any kind of trouble when we do. Yeah, he'll be in trouble soon. <laughs> okay, we gotta bring her out as well. Fuck me. Did we fuck that up anyway? Was there like a better way of doing that? This is the trouble when you have OCD and you play an RPG. It just... No, oh, did I do that right? Did I get the best possible ending? Did I, uh... Yeah, I get the optimum outcome of that. Ugh. It takes away from the spirit of the game. Yeah, we gotta take Bastard out, or Bastilla, as she likes to be called. Any others? While we're here, I guess we could bring that cunt out, but I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to end up doing anything of him. No, no. Uh, well, we've had him with us for a while, so we're probably, uh... I guess we could have a chat with him, but I can't see him having much to say. Him, I'm not, I'm not pushing the, the Wookiee. If the Wookiee doesn't want to talk, that's the Wookiee's business. We'll, we'll bring Candle out. We, we haven't talked to him much. Have I played Cyberpunk? I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> Anyway, maybe testing my OCD is something I need to do to the combat it, rather than just shy away. Oh, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Bastard has something to talk about. <laughs> How can I help? I do. How did you know? Uh... That, 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 that sounds a little, uh, little flirtatious, if you ask me. I, I, I don't know. We, we, we end up lesbianing, um, bastard or whatever her name is. Uh, we, we, we'll just go, we'll just go with that. I'm a Jedi. I am far too disciplined to betray my emotions with outward physical displays. We both know the real reason you have some idea of what I'm thinking, the bond we share. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong and no, the Force you can have the cat woman fried. training could have terrible consequences for you and for everyone around you. I don't think she's going to like that. Uh. I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you. With your natural affinity for the force. Oh, oh, so if if you're a man you get her. Right. And if you're a woman you get fucking calf. Oh my god. I mean she's pretty Karen if you ask me. But I still feel a little shortchanged here. I mean calf, really? Wow. Uh, yeah, what if you romance Bastilla as a femboy? Yeah, yeah, I will try whatever what you want to hear. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult even with the best of intentions. There's great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. 
Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your okay, part will affect me I don't... as well. Well, I want to ignore everyone, but like, then they have quests as well, and like, I mean, if it's a choice between calf or asexual, it's got to be asexual. <laughs> I mean, calf, really? Just whining, moaning. Oh my god. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master, not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I could, I could. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. Oh now, my god, pretentious arson. Jesus. Okay. There we go. I've kind of neglected talking to a lot of them. But hey, this is why I don't want to end up doing some saucy bullshit with Calf. Jesus Christ. Yeah, what do you want? I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. That bastard war droids. himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the outer rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor. Linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me. My heart racing with fear of the coming battle. There's a bastard thrumming beneath him. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, so we gotta up our repair skill then. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor placed <laughs> protecting me. When the himself. magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. Fascinating. Uh... The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. Yeah, it was some funny. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? Ever, 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 that's what I want to know. Your choice. I okay, do do we have any more words with that space twink then? Or we've brought the girl home, that's all solved. Calarician's utility belt. 3,000 credits on Dantuing before finding your fourth star map. 3,000 credits, so we gotta find that. 10,000 credits, Christ. Yeah, fanboy stories. 
I think this dipshit sells stuff, doesn't he? Achuta. Jedi have a mason! Alright, Twink. Yeah, another ally against darkness and corruption. The shop by the ship docks. I got a piss in a minute, actually. But uh, let's see if we can find this thing. What was it called? The Calrissian's Utility Belt. I don't, I'm not sure how you would ever afford all of this stuff. There's some really expensive things around. Also, stuff disappears and reappears before you um, get certain amounts of the star map. Maybe I should uh, make a note of stuff that's a limited time then. Uh, make sure I get it. to do some Pazic games to uh, up my money a bit. Okay, he's got to be in the other one then. Uh, the, uh, the little spaceman that's uh, all excited. And, uh, you, you want map? Yes. Uh, I got a piss. I'll be back in one moment.
Okay. Let's see. Where am I? There's been a lot going on in the chat. The best sell price only at Yaving Station. Where, what is that? A utility belt? The best sell price at Yaving Station. What's that for? So you want to go to Yaving Station to sell fins in general, I guess? We got Fanboy Storytime, which I, I will continue as I go along. Last time, we left off with Fanboy and Sinister fighting off against a green nemesis. After a five minute boss battle, the two managed to defeat the nemesis. However, they ran out of ammo by the end. Still surrounded by green zombies from below the police station, Femboy and Sinister desperately look around for an escape off the roof. Femboy spots a large wooden plank, and with Sinister's help, I, I, I gotta stop to read this, uh, they set it up to cross a nearby rooftop. That reminds me of uh, the last level of Outbreak File 2, actually, where there's a bit where you cross over this roof. As they begin crossing, the green nemesis suddenly gets back up, begins running towards the two of them, and knocks the plank down, causing both of them to fall into a trash can below in an alleyway. They get up with a few scratches, quickly ran from the station, as the two were perused by both a nemesis and Cabbage's zombie army. After 30 minutes of running and hiding, Femboy and Sinister make new plans to escape Los Santos. Femboy suggests they attempt to escape by train. With no better options, they head towards the train station. All the while, Cabbage secretly spies on them with his saucy nano drone. Uh, yeah, Cabbage. Escape by train, eh? Well, I'll make sure to have a surprise waiting for them. Nobody will escape my city. Femboy and Sinister will be added to my green collection. One way or another. A green man laughs as he sips his iced green tea. He continued. Oh, so in general, if you sell it, yeah, then you get more. Okay. The green man is very evil, isn't he? Quite shocking, I would say. A bit Claudia, even. What the heather is my general reaction to the green man? Greetings, young Padawan. With power, I wish okay, you luck in your training. Okay, nothing you offer. Uh... Mm. So Cabbage made Femboy green once, but now Femboy is no longer green. Oh wow, we got a cat in the chat. It's been a long time. We got Michael Martinez, a member for 15 months. A literal cat as well. Very base. Quite heavy. And look here, we got a tiny little green man. We got a little, little cabbage, yeah. Right, give me the bell. Where's the bell? Hold on, hold on. Where, 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 where was this? Calrissian's utility bell. Available for 3,000 credits on Dantuang. That, that's where we are, isn't it? Before finding your fourth map. We've got various things, but I don't see that there. Oh, fuck it. Wow. Okay, there's got to be other people who buy and sell. Maybe there was there was another man in that shop, wasn't there? I don't need it just yet, but it, it's it's bothering me. Like, where is it? I 
like it ever. I like, wish who, who hit the bell. Cabbage hit the bell, I bet. It would, but like at the same time it's bothering me, like where where, where is it? Where did it go? Your meow Tinas. He's 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 a good cat actually, very good cat. Very good cat. I mentioned he's a good cat, actually. Dongai to am Gigi Yumalit. Rundi Hadonga. Ah, here we go. Maybe it's here. So. No? Not here either. Maybe, is this it? Maybe I have to buy something else first. Alrician's bell. I'm just, I'm just sort of baffled, but like, where the fuck did it go? I know, that gets you repair up, doesn't it, the bell? So where is it? Where did it go? Who took the bell? It was cabbage. It smells like cabotage to me. Also, I got another Coke there. I'm sorry, Taiwan. I am unable to render it. I'm sorry, Taiwan. Oh, you could call more. Jedo Badawan maybe you have to bring them crystals. I don't like bring them crystals. Jedo Badawan and Mucha Shakpach. Where did it go? Ah, it's, it's gotta be that, surely. I am not a security interface tool. I am a heather. Okay, I think we're gonna go... So if we go to Wookie Land, we can still go find Griff another time, can't we? Because I don't want that quest to disappear, but at the same time, I'm more interested in Wookiee Land than what's his name? Uh, Griff. So that's where we would find him anyway. Where the, where the sand people are. My god, did they, did they not think about that before they um named it that? Um, yeah, I, I think there might also be a, or is that Corabon? Yeah, Corabon has a big Chungus. That has Griff, the uh, brother of uh, Space Spate. Don't know what that has. This is Wookie Land, and this is where we go and sell stuff. Ah. Okay, we're Wookie Land. So we don't get ambushed, might get space combat again. Ooh, smooth sailing, no space combat. Now, I'm not done with this stream by a long way, but I'm thinking what's next. Uh, Tuesday. Thursday. I think it's probably Generation Zero, isn't it? Probably Generation Zero. Um, and then Saturday is Resident Evil Director's Cut, which I'm really enjoying, actually. And then Sunday we'll have, uh, Habit again. 
Beyond that, I don't know. I'll have to figure out the schedule for the next week again. Ah. So I'm really only getting started then. We're going to bring out our very own Wookiee. Because, you know, Wookiee planet. There we go. Should we bring out a her? Because I know they, they, you know, they're a team. Would that open up more dialogue from him if he had her with her? At the same time, I'd much rather have, like, I don't know, someone with force heals or recharging health. Oh no, Sarah Kay had to escape her country to... Get away from tryhards. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no, you're, you're good, Sarah Kay. It's good to have you here. Uh, <laughs> calf, not bringing him. Um, okay, it's between these two. Space bait or cat woman? Uh, nah, nah. Eh, we'll go, cam woman. Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> Piss off. Yeah, don't make demands. I'm Heather Mason and I'll land where I wish. Hmm. Heather, Heather, Heather. Not my usual uh, stance on things, but I am Heather. I, I am Heather. But his voice went like. <laughs> <laughs> I will not pay the hundred credits. I'm saving those up. Let me shank this motherfucker. <laughs> um, wait, we really have to pay a hundred credits just to get in there? Fuck that, I'm not paying a hundred credits, and not now that I'm going back on my word is Heather Mason. Do credits up his ass. I choose violence. Yeah, I choose violence. I save and then I choose violence. Why should I pay a hundred? I'm Heather Mason, right? Okay, I grow. I grow. Oh wait, where's the fucking door? Um, come on, where is it? Eh, no. Yeah. Now we gotta kill him. Oh, I want a hundred credits. Oh, 
Elfa, Orithian Elfa, Vaninova Elfa, Vanauko. Mother of right, so there name in there, Fanny. Control Wookiees, we can control you. That's it. I've had enough of you. No, what, what, what do I mean, no choice? Why don't I just kill him? I want him to die. I'm not gonna bring him. I'm not paying. We can control Wookiees, we can control you. Yeah, exactly. I can't. I literally will not pay the fee. So it gets me fuck all. So we've gone with that. We've gone with refusing to pay. Ah, uh, I don't. I'm not paying him. Well, I'm, and I don't. I like what? Why can't I just kill him? Like we've got the option to, you know, choose aggro dialogue, but we can't. Just choose to cut him down. Have I frozen my game? Effect mind and dominate mind come in handy. Ah, I got to get one of them, haven't I? Okay, in that case, I'm gonna load. We're gonna go to. Uh, we're gonna go see that brother of a uh, space bait stank. Although, are they gonna do the same thing? You know, are they just gonna be, oh, we want a hundred. Uh -huh. Cause he works for that mining company, doesn't he? Well, put it this way, I will go anywhere where I do not pay that fee. I'm saving up and I'm not paying out my money to these bricks. Exactly, Sarah Kay, but like, like we, we choose to dialogue and then we don't back it up. Like, what, what is that? Okay, we'll try here. But if he's mining, if he's working for them, surely they're just going to have the same thing set up there as well. Ooh, 
Little bastards, Doug. I know. We we control the Wookiees. We'll control you. Oh, no aggro. Ah, we find him there. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on there? Maybe she sees Heather. They gotta let me on air, surely. We can go waste Griff as well. Another vision. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. Uh. Perhaps, though that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now there's nothing but the howling emptiness of the Dune Sea. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. And no doubt I'm gonna have to pay a hundred pound fee to get on as well. Who do I want with me on here? If uh, Wookiee land is, um, you know, obviously you want the Wookiee, I guess here. Do we have a sand person on this ship? <laughs> do we? I, I guess we bring mission because we're going to find the brother. Yeah, I guess we bring mission, don't we? Once I find my way out of the ship. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why do I always lose my way here? I... I never really know. I can never tell. Ever, ever, ever. We'll bring those two. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation oh, stands really? ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on the list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. Dock up your ass. The immediate benefit is access to these very docking. Once you've paid, we will... I assure you that the fee is none. No, 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 I'm sorry, but we have to charge something. Zerka Corporation maintains, and I warn you, we've had troublemakers. That would be unfortunate. Then, I'm afraid, guards, this ship is. Re uh, this is so. Uh. Is there anywhere I'm allowed on? Or I guess I keep reloading and trying the persuasion check again and again and again. Or I go back to Dantuing and, um, Farm dogs until I get the uh... Okay, we'll try that. Try that. One of these players. Yeah, I refuse to play. A, I'm tight. B, they're, they're, 
the, the imperialist globalist forces. We can't paint them. Um, and they're villainous. And they try to control the Wookiees. Can't control the Wookiees. I have them. There's a big chungoid chungus somewhere on this planet. I know that much. One that they used to hunt down, but one of them wasn't hunted down or something. Now this place is a shithole. There can't be a hundred feet to go here, surely. Yeah, I, I gotta do it now. I gotta get effect or dominate mind. Do I have a rank up for her? I don't think I do. Ooh, oh, this looks funky. Some sort of tomb or something, or... And I'm not getting shot at. So who comes from here then? Yeah, 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 yeah. The force is guiding. This doesn't look like a place that would have a star map. Oh, I suppose it is. There are some who believe Korriban is the birthplace of the Sith. This planet is an evil place. There are secrets here best left uncovered. Oh, sounds like good XP. During the vision, I felt cold and trapped. Almost as if I was buried alive. It felt... It felt like we were in some kind of tomb. No doubt things will become more... Hmm. Maybe you're right. Most of the Dark Jedi would only know me by name. There are a few among them who might recognize my face. For the safety of our mission, I must remain on the Ebon Hawk while we are on this planet. What a terrible shame! Oh dear! <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's have a look. What, what is this place? No native species. Apparently there's a lot of, uh, um, a lot of dark Jedi on here though. Why don't I save just in case I have to pass some persuasion check? Once I once again find the exit to the ship. Oh, I did it quick. Ah, yeah, look at me go. Okay, we want to rank up. We want to get effect slash dominate. Dominate? No, dominate mind. We are not that far off from another rank, actually. We need to get to 66,000 and then we're level 8. That, that might be enough. What a terrible shame. Yeah, Dark Jedi does sound like free XP. And hey, hey, she can... Uh, she doesn't like Dark Jedi, does she? We'll, we'll, we'll take her. We'll... Um, let's go. Don't need you anyway. We go force healing with her. Ha! Ah, no fee! No fee! Look at me go! Ha ha! We'll get the rank up and we'll, uh... We'll be good. Oh. Oh, I'm getting a bit of buffering on my end. Is that, uh, for anyone else? Anyone else buffering or just me? The honey might need a rank up. Uh, she'll, she'll, ha she'll have it stored as an emergency heal, but when, when she, uh, she, she'll get one. Oh, these dipshits are here again. These ones that want me to pay a hundred coins. I better not expect a hundred coins there, because you're not going to get them. I'm 
Nah, they, they want me to pay a hundred coins to get there. So uh, we're holding off on that for now. Oh, oh, hello there. What are you doing? Nice to see the Hawk still in one piece. Beauty of a ship, that. Ah, I've seen this little ship before plenty of times. Used to make runs for the Exchange, didn't it? Coraban's nice and remote. The kind of place the Exchange likes. You don't need to worry about me saying anything. I don't give a whit what you do with your ship. Smuggling's what the Hawk was made for, though. Oh, nobody's special. I just do the routine maintenance work for the ships that come in. I used to see the Hawk here all the time. You sure can. Not much. It's a pretty barren planet, to tell the truth. Not of much interest to anyone. Unless you're a Sith, I guess. They seem to think this place is something special. Probably all them ruins they found on the surface. That's the reason they built their academy here, I guess. To dig all them ruins up. Sith Academy? There's people that come here from all over Sith space to try and join the Academy. Most of them die, I hear. Pretty gruesome business, that. You don't. Not unless you're a Sith in the Academy. They're the only ones allowed on the surface. They pay Zerka to ship things in and out, I guess, but that's all closely monitored. I don't know. There's all kinds of hopefuls in the colony trying to get in. Why don't you ask one of them? A star map? You mean like a navigation chart? If them Sith found a star map in those ruins, nobody's ever mentioned it. Okay, yep. that's care. enough from him. We're gonna make a save outside this door in case they try to charge me money, which I obviously refuse to pay. Uh, is that a door there, or is that just a shift store? It's gotta be, isn't it? No, I, I could have a paid a fee, uh, car crash. I could have a... I just... I would have a... Yeah. There we go. Chipet wana ni bobo. Tonk nabung sha nun yang. Tonk patoga smaktelia. Kachichu aitha odunga. In kin kun no bamuli ra chikun. Slim apodona. Rundi odunga kun hunkabi. Takun justak miki gravel mogo. Kachichu aitha odunga. Tulpada bonk molia gando danago chuchut. Moga shampungpa bolawana chikni. Bamule slik mo poda na wanga kun beast muli ra best. Chibedwana ni bobo. Tonk nabung shanun yang. So I just pretend ah, I'm turning to the dark side. Haha. <laughs> they don't need to know that, do they? Uh Kuya mi juz kachita naipatoga ya fulki. Kukula jiji. Kawana bota a ayut tagwa. No, I'm not paying a fee. Kun watati mana itabula. We ita nadana yitya. Kunti chan. Oh, fuck off. I'm not even paying this fee. Kuya mi juz kachita. Naipatoga ya fulki. Kukula. That's right, prick. I'm not paying you. Kawana bota. A ayut tagwa. Kankidora tikun watati mana itabula. Ajuta. Tabistu von conki pangpa. Ching palachiska muli. Tuni rana no prata dunk no sarcha doma wama kun bestoma. Nisha chilorcha kin kun no bamuli raji kun. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalit pa ang yinkotu. Tolbada bunk walia gando de nago chuchut, kachi chu aitha haudunga. You malith ka inkotun, chilo mula. No, I will not pay the fee. Unko kun biskang, bamulara. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachichu aitha odonga, tulpada bongo yeah, exactly, alia gando danago chuchut. 
moga shampong pa bolawan na chik ni. Pamule slik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli rabest. Kuya mi juz kachita na ipatoga ya fulki kukula jiti. Kawana bota a ayut tagwa. Kang kidora ti kun wata ti mana itabola. Ako che kopa? Gino muli ra king pajak. Tony Pudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sarcha! It's you a penki! Wow, he sounds angry. The beast you won't conky punk pa. Ching palachiska muli. Tony Rana no prata don't know, Sarcha doma wama kun bestoma. Alright, that's enough for me. Mucha shak punk. What we pass for check? Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Well, this is a Sith colony. They're the law here. I'm here only to protect Zerkas. Shove it up your ass. Now, oh, right, let's save. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? What a wama mulira, King Kunjope Shak. No ba mulira ji. Johnny, you turung chi, we eat a dear. Bola una chinek. Bamuli rat slimo anga kunbis king. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. There's a lot of you who's trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I see Trice in order to spare the life of an enemy. Oh, consider stream. Of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We could never oppose you. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tony Pudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sarcha! It's you a penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Uh... Ah. Hmm. You, Jedi, you're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? I Let see me pose a young question. Metro three These times as well. These never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning, yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? Uh, I just can't seem to decide. Shitting themselves would be a lot better than dying, wouldn't it? I want to let them go, but uh, at the same time, we've got to get in there, haven't we? We didn't do anything. Please, help us. Silence. It's not what they did so much as what they didn't do, which is prove themselves worthy. I'm exhausted from dealing with their mewlings, so please decide for me, will you? No. I'm not going to answer that again, either. I uh, have people going, oh, no, you're this, you're that. I... I don't get into that. Mm. He's well, I have a save here, so uh, why don't we try it? Let them go. And what could possibly convince me to do that? I can't imagine we're going to convince him that it's wrong. No, I think it's you who isn't worth my time. Oh dear, oh dear, oh god. Well. Well. <laughs> Uh, 
That's why we gotta save. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? What the wamamut? All right, let's say you be. Oh, of course. We would never have. No, no. Mercy is a weakness. Tunipudu. No, you don't understand. Bah, I can't be bothered. You, Jedi, you're looking to get in the Academy, are you not? Look, let me pose a... I'm thinking to spare... Well, perhaps a bit of... What do you think? We didn't do any... Silence! It's not what they did so Right. Much. Uh... Let them go. Can we do it this time if we do it enough it should pass i think there are some of these checks that aren't passable though no i think it's oh my god and some of them are but they take a really really long time to pass i think we're gonna see that clip a few times um I mean, I really doubt that I can no, convince him it's wrong, wrong but... Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly... What the one, I'm right. Let's... Oh, we would never have... No, no. Mercy is a... No, you... Bah! I... You, Jedi! You're... Let me pose a question. Oh, yeah, he, he might well, like that. You... He might think? like that. We didn't do any... Silence! It's not what they did, so... He's all like, oh, I like aggro. Let them go. Oh? oh? My, but that is rather intrepid of you. I don't think I've had someone stand up to me like that in ages. You see, boys? This is the kind of backbone you need if you ever want a hope of becoming a Sith. Now get out of my sight. There we go! Oh, wow. Look at us go. Look at us go. We did it. Ooh, 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 ooh. We just aggro everyone then. Yeah, you're very good. Very good. Quite base. Bree. Right, Bree. Uh. Nikabo <laughs> Agi inko tune kuna muli ra tangi wama jiko na tongi ipa nongku nek abog kakin cha Hey, we got fox on the run as well, I fox. Konti machi tum. Jiska dosoki kopa bo Mandalorian raiders. Abona winki smack toma kuyami jusku chika nai. So we got weapons that they can't sell because they're not bad. Oh. Sounds good. Okay. Craft Warblade. Doesn't cost much, probably a bit shit then as well. Twisted by the dark side. The craft tempered swords with the power of a force. Perhaps even before lightsabers became the weapon of the Jedi, both dark and light. So this is a kind of lightsaber-ish force sword? Ooh, that's expensive. Bofen Shrieker.
Are both ones like the little Lelia men? Bree is based. Bree is quite amped. A bit heavy, actually. for now and we should really sell things at the other place as well what you call it the um uh oh y yaving yeah yaving okay it's just they're about probably even watching us in here don't bet they ain't look here my dear friends we have some newcomers to the colony led by a jedi no less I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these <laughs> fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. You should turn around and move along, kid. You don't want the trouble we give you. Yeah. <laughs> smart mouth newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. Ooh, gee, and we are nice. Sith. Yeah. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? Uh. There we go. Those are very brave words for such an insignificant person. Do you not realize how many Sith are here in Dreshde? Not enough to save your sorry self. Let me kill this one, Lasho. Let me do it. <laughs> now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Two Mandalorians are out in the woods. Wait, what what's what does this mean? I don't get it. These two Mandalorians are out in the woods. Oh oh it's some kind of joke, isn't it? Yeah, they're walking XP. Tell them the Mandalorian joke. Are you sure? I don't really want to amuse them though. I don't think they just yeah. Hmm. Torn between these two. Is there any bonus for uh, telling the joke? I mean, I guess you might get a little XP if you pass. No, they don't need a joke, though, they. Do it? Okay, you're gonna have to tell me why to do it then, I mean. Hmm. All right, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll go with a joke. Go on. One of them collapses. Doesn't seem to be breathing, and his eyes are glazed. The other Mandalorian takes out his communicator and contacts his commander. I've heard this one before. I think... Quiet! He gasps. My partner has collapsed. I don't know what to do. After a moment, the commander responds. Calm down, I can help. And then? First, let's make sure your partner is dead. There is a silence, and a blaster shot is heard. Back on the communicator, the Mandalorian says, Okay, now what? It would be more realistic if the commander just shot them both. <laughs> That's the oldest joke in the book. Oh, wait, it well, failed. Well, it certainly didn't amuse us, did it? Try again. Wow. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to you, Lasho. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? 
any time. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. Well, would we get a different reaction if the joke passed, or...? I can't wait to get back to the core systems. This planet is dangerous with all those Sith wandering around. Well, I hope she finds me later. I'm gonna kill him. You are low on Persuade, but no XP available here. So if I had won that, I'm guessing I would have had a different reaction then. No, that is the wrong... Oh, oh fuck I'm me, didn't I save? Oh, no, right. Let's say you... oh, of course. We would never oppose you. No, no. Oh, Mercy wait, no, 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 I found a... Uh... No, you don't... Bah. I can't be you, Jedi. An easy way Not to get past him, didn't I? I'm thinking to spare them the air. Well, perhaps a bit of humility. What do you think? We didn't do anything. Silence. It's not what they did. Let them go. Oh? You see, boy? Okay, I'll make a save here. So what happens if the joke passes? Is there like, is it different or is it just same sort of thing? Look here, my dear friend. I hate Jedi. You should turn around and- <laughs> Looks pretty fresh. That's what I thought. Quite literally, whether- You couldn't find your backside with both hands and your friends. How precocious. I think this one tried to make a joke, don't you? I didn't think it was funny. Neither did I. A brave face, perhaps. What do you say? I mean... Go on. You need to set gameplay on easy to improve your chances of a low persuade until you up the persuade skill. I can't do that. I'm not playing on easy. I've heard this... Quiet! And then... I'll just load a bit until... It would be more real. <laughs> Too oh, there funny. we go. <laughs> Good one. Yes, I suppose that wasn't too bad. All right there then, my friend. You've done as you were asked. Perhaps we will meet again. Okay, we managed to cheese it. I will save over that then. Okay. There are a lot of young folk who come here hoping to get admitted to the Sith Academy. Something you need? Nobody you need to know. I'm just here to try to get into the Sith Academy. Yeah. I don't know. I've been here for a few days now, and the Sith still haven't paid me any attention. I suppose I should consider myself lucky. I've heard of some of the prospects getting killed. Still, it's all a test, and I'll just have to be strong. Well, you have to impress one of the Sith. The final decision rests with Uthura Bat, however. Uthura She's the one who decides exactly which of us get into the Academy or not. I've been hanging out hoping she'll come by and notice me, to be honest. Oh! Usually she's in the academy, but sometimes she comes out into the colony to look for prospects. If she's in the colony, she can usually be found in the cantina, but not always. She's one of the most Was she the woman the who was bothering us? Why? Why? That's really a dumb question. To become a Sith, of course. To wield the greatest power in the galaxy. Ha! They're weaklings. Not worth anyone's attention. It's the Sith that are going to conquer the galaxy, after all. Yeah, go on. Okay, uh... Let's see. We got a twink dancer here. 
but I don't seem to be able to talk. The Circa Cantina is the only place to go around here for any real fun. She doesn't look like she should have that accent. <laughs> oh, the Cantina is the only place to go around here. I suppose you've heard about the destruction of Taurus, yes? Awful business, that. Zerka lost a fortune there. Not that the Sith care. We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such. But we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. Let's see. Well, why not? This is Sith space now, and the company has to survive regardless of who is in charge. The Republic, the Sith, eh, the economy has to keep going. Now, was there anything else? Certainly. There truly isn't much to tell, citizen. Dresh Day was established by the Sith, and we arrived to take advantage of some of the planet's mineral wealth. The only thing that's really unusual about Dresh Day, I suppose, is that the Sith built their academy on the east side of the colony. You don't find those just anywhere. A star map? We sell navigational components, if that's what you mean. And no one knows what that is. Well, the Sith have some old ruins that interest them up on the surface of the planet. If this map of yours is there, however, they've said nothing about it. Zerka sends freighters to the surface every now and again to ferry artifacts to the core. The men are not allowed out of their ships, however, as only Sith are allowed on the surface. Beyond that, I really can't say. Mm, more persuasion checks. Maybe I can uh, make a save here. Do come again. And uh, yeah, what's the word? Just uh, reload if I fuck it up. Greetings and welcome to Zer. Certainly. Zerka sends the men are not allowed. Does it matter? I don't intend to speak. There truly isn't much to. The only thing that's really unusual. Zerka sends freight. The men are not allowed. Does it matter? Oh my god. There truly isn't. The only thing that's really unusual. Zerka sends. The men are not allowed. Well. All there I we go. <laughs> the Valley of the Dark Lords. Apparently, there are Sith Lords of old buried in tombs there. I don't know anything else. Neither will you, I'm sure. Only the Sith students are allowed access to the site. Okay. Not much. The Sith are a rather secretive lot, and they don't allow many into the Academy. I hear they claim that Korriban was inhabited long ago by other Sith, but no one really knows if that's true. The planet is certainly uninhabited outside of Dresh Day, and always has been. Only prospective students. We get many who come here each year hoping to get picked. Many are simply considered too weak, I'm afraid. I understand there is one main person amongst the Sith who decides which students are worthy. Euthora Ban, I believe her name is. Other than in the Academy itself, I'm sorry, I don't know. He doesn't know much, does he? Do come again. Oh yeah, let's see what he's got in stock. Greetings and welcome to Z You certainly can. Life support pack. A life support pack contains dermal regenerators and other equipment for the treatment of wounds. Can't be used by droids. What's the difference between this and a health kit? Exactly, I see, exactly. Construction kit. Droid can repair itself. What's the med kits? A light battle suit. Fiber armor. 
We saw that on sale somewhere else as well, but I'm sure it was for a lot more than that. Maybe it was a slightly different version of it. Oh, it's a tier three med kit, so it's pretty good then. Is it Amped med kit? Oh. Craft Holy Battle Suit. That's got to be good, right? Guards of the Dark Temples and Armor of this type. Cynics dismiss this further. Nothing that guard duty was. Oh, noting that guard duty was safer than participating in military slave raids. What's all this talk about slaving? Powered battle armor is surprisingly cheap. There are lots of different armor. Heavy targeting objects for 9,000. Ooh. Ow, a full Jedi. I do, but I, I can't pay the fee. I can't pay the fee. I probably should AC, but I'm very tight. I'm very tight. But this gets you a whole load of bonus feeds. This advanced optics and targeting system, worn as a mask, attaches to a held weapon. I thought it was worn as a mask. In this case, rifles and heavy weapons, and provides targeting information, distances, and tracking of potential targets within line of sight. So that gets you a shit ton of bonus feats. Sure we got one of them. Stiffens the forearm. Wow, that sounds a bit soft. Stuff? Sauce? Fuck me, I can't talk. Uh, I guess a lot of stealth. That does for a lot cheaper though as well. A Sith Regenerator. You could buy only the Sith Regenerator. What does it do? Regeneration 2. Extensively used by Sith intelligence operatives. This implant stimulates cell replication in the user's body, allowing wounds to be healed quickly and easily. It is most frequently used on operatives operating behind enemy lines for extended periods where medical treatment is not normally available. Quite expensive, though. Hyper battle stimulant. Ooh, drugs. Yeah. Uh, more drugs, 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 drugs. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll hold off for now. We're saving up. I haven't really know, you see. Oh, like Kando. Kando's health regeneration does him a lot of good. One of Korriban's primary trade routes went through Terrace. Now, one of Korriban's primary trade routes went through Terrace. I've had two friends killed by the Sith already. It must be some kind of test. I'll survive and make it into the academy. I know it. Hey. Okay. Uh, is he going to finish say? Go about your business, please, citizen. You can conduct business at our office if you wish. Yeah, let's just let's rob you first. Let's look around. Okay, nothing to rob. I seem to have been boxed in a bit there. Sith regen would be a full heal over one piss break. Jesus, that's good. Okay then, I, I think I gotta save up for that, haven't I? So it's, now it's not even a case of me being tight. That's like eight and a half thousand and I've only got four and a half thousand. But I, I will save up. Let's hope it's still there to buy after I fuck things up here, though. I can't wait to get back to the core systems. Lurzy Cash. Hmm. I ha I haven't really no. I haven't no. I assume there's skill checks, so I'm just gonna. Would you have any 
ang Duwama G Human Act in Ikatune, Chi Ita Kangki Chama Kilikon, Chi Wak Ita Kangki. Ang Hi Duwama Act in Ikatune, Otang Hi Duwama G Act in Ikatun, Ang Panokun, Nonek, Chi Wi Ita Kachong Chicha, Hi Nulira Kungkin, Kimbanokun, Yota. Chiwi Aita Ka Chong Chicha Agi Inko Tune Kuna Muli Ra Tangi Pa Nong Kunek Abog Chiwi Aita Ka Chong Chicha Agi Inko Tune Kuna Muli Ra Tangi Pa Nong Kunek Abog Chia Skron Kito Pats Nemo Chi Ita Kanki Chan Na Kili Kun Kimba Muli Ra Buona Ji Hmm. I could, I could. I do need to start doing that, don't I? You don't really go announcing you've stolen things, so we'll just... Oh, he's interested in something else. Oh, wow. Kilograms of spice. Spice as in drugs or spice as in spice for food? Or? Well, they had a deal, so I'll honor it. Pizza, pizza. pizza. I mean, I did have a deal. Red forty two. What is red forty two? Perhaps more. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Well, as I see it, the drugs, they, they had a deal anyway, so I should honor their deal. You know, at least we can do after killing the person he was dealing with, you know. Give him what he bought. Give him his spice. <laughs> They're not going to make a curry or something with that spice, then. It's definitely... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I always forget that, AC. But, uh, I'm here now anyway. I have not really know. Oh, get out of my way. He's boxing me in. And now we got the codes for his thing. And there's no, like, higher bidder who... Can we sell it to someone else who would pay more for it? Might be an idea. Saving very often, but, eh, there's often things that sort of fuck me over, so... Our emergency food. It is now unlocked. We have spice. I don't think it's for cooking with, but uh, I never really know.
The term spice has come to describe a wide variety of stimulants. Ah, uh, well, I have a mind on a number of worlds. But the highly coveted glitter stim found on Kessel is by far the most precious. Okay, yeah. Uh, they did have a deal. His spice, not mine. Oh, wait, were those my people? No, 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 it was those two. No, oh dear, I, I think I'm going to lose a few light side, po light side points for this, but, uh... Eh. Uh, money, money, ooh. Ooh. Found also on Dune. Now, they did have a deal, and I killed the one he was going to buy it from, so... Morally, I, 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 I owe him to... Uh, you know, peddle this drug to him. Um, there we go. Grand Theft Space Stealer. Kiwaka <laughs> That's a bit uh, uncalled for. Heart on Tatooine awaits delivery of a box. Two thousand. Wow, this is good money. Is the, the, I'm assuming that can't be passed, right? Or. I, I feel like that's he's just gonna be like stop taking a piss. Never open the box. Opening the box would be horribly bad. Not a bomb. Do not open it. It presents no danger to you so long as it remains closed. Oh shit, the money option is gone. That said, I did pass the persuasion check, but then I did it first try, so maybe it's not a really hard one. Not me. A pizza, a pizza. What happens if I open it? Where can I find him? Where can I find him again? Anchor head. Go for it. 
Do not open the box. There's a riddle of a box. Let's see, experience points. Ooh, 500! 1500. 1500 credits. I am lost. I don't see any bad, good points, so that, that's... We haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, look at us go! Heather, 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 Heather. There we go. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that. We've just made a shit ton more money. We are not far off from ranking up again, which will, you know, we'll be able to get mind force or whatever. Uh, we'll maybe bump up the persuasion a bit. And uh, that will let us get on the other planets without paying the 100 coin fee. And we're making a lot of money now. We're... Exactly, we should have mind powers. And we can go heather, heather, heather. Do we look in the box though, or do we just take him at his word and don't look at it? Honestly, I probably would not look in a box. You know, if, I, if that's what he's been told, just don't look in it. Sure. That said, I'm kind of curious about this riddle now. I wonder if the riddle goes, Ever, 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 ever. The drunk side, oh dear. I can't wait to get back to the core systems. When one of the Sith thinks you're ready for the Academy, he gives you a medallion. I wish you... What do you want? Oh, didn't want it. Just, just checking. Oh. I'm trying to get into the Sith Academy. Around here, they call us hopefuls. Save. Ah, uh, I'm guessing it, like, kills me or something. Well, that's the only way to become a Sith, isn't it? In the Academy, you learn to use the Force. After the Sith conquer the galaxy, there aren't going to be any more Jedi, are there? I guess I'd rather join the winning side. Maybe we could convert her? She sounds possible, son. I think I do have to save Scumber Box. Yeah, we gotta do it. What would you want to get into the Academy? Oh, no, no, we've already done that. I thought they were good, but I've been here for days now, and I haven't drawn any Just attention Just go join the Jedi, I that might be good. twink dancer. I know. Some of the attention the Sith have shown to other hopefuls has been pretty deadly. <sighs> I wish I knew, to tell you the truth. You have to impress one of the Sith, I guess. Either way, it's Euthura Barn who makes the final decision. She's a Twi'lek Sith Master, I hear. Very high rank. She's a Twink She's Sith Master. Which make it in and which ones don't. Wow. I really couldn't say. I hear that sometimes she comes out into the colony to drink at the cantina, though. But I guess she could be anywhere. All right. Goodbye. Ah, we got him 70 blazing here as well. Very based. Exit? Where does it exit to? See him on another planet? Isn't he a, like a gunslinger or duelist? One of Korriban's primary trade routes went through Terrace. Now that it's destroyed, oh, pilot. The here will have an even harder nice. time of it. Greetings, friend. Fellow pilot, are you? Wouldn't mind taking a spin in the Ebon Hawk myself. Sleek ship, that one. Ah, uh, just a boring freighter. We've had some pretty steady work here, though, since the Sith started their excavations up on the surface. In case you're forgetting, partner, they don't exactly want us talking about their business. Ah, uh, who cares about them? I've seen some of those things they're digging up in those ruins in the valley. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Oh. Weird artifacts. Looks like alien stuff. Maybe aliens lived on Korriban a long time ago. Who knows? Don't be stupid. I was talking to one of those Sith and he said there are tombs there dating back to when the Sith were here in ancient times. There were Sith here in ancient times? Sounds like he was feeding you a line. 
Korriban's only been settled for a short time. So says you. He said the planet was settled by the Sith a long time ago. And then they all left or something. Those tombs are really important to them. Tombs, eh? That makes the stuff they send us even creepier. Wish I didn't have to haul it around. We used to haul everything to Terrace, and the Sith would take it off our hands there. Not sure where we'll be bringing it now. No, we're not due for another shipment for at least another week. It's in a valley on the surface, beyond some mountains to the east. No land route. That's why they have us fly in. Shows what you know. The Academy has a route through the mountain. That's how oh. all their students get to the excavation site. Well, regardless, the Sith don't let anybody near that valley. Even when we land, they watch us like a Drebarian hawk. A Drebarian hawk. Quickly. Not a chance. You'd be better off sneaking through the Academy if you want to go to the valley. Ha! Now that'd be a sight to see. Weird artifacts. Don't be stupid. Okay, they were sit that. here in ancient... Uh. So says tombs, eh? Sure thing. What if we talk to him? You own the Ebon Hawk, don't you? Nah. Wish I could fly Nothing. like that. Ever, ever, ever. Oh, Lou, 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 Lou. Parts repair kit. 150 credits. I'll have all of that. Oh, yeah. Ever, ever, ever. Oh, my heather. Ever. Okay. Uh, I know I'm saving a lot, but eh, there's no penalty for it. Oh, that so it's not a pizza, a pizza. Pakisa, Pakisa. Ah. I would say a pizza, a pizza. A pizza, a pizza. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't like the Sif. A winky smacked my ma. Oh. It sounded suspiciously like he said to him, but we'll just, we'll just brush over that. Oh, yeah, speaking of that, I'm hungry now, sir. Okay. Oh, 
I think I've, I've gone over all this dialogue. Pizza, a pizza. Yeah, now, now I actually want a pizza, so I really fucked myself over. Now I'm hungry. Um, Tol Apka. Yeah, not right now. And he just said pizza. Yun Patisa, the Chuba Jikuka Naga, Kingu Mua Munira Duana, Kimba Nicha Lora Gun, Kingu Inkuka, Kimba Nicha Lora Gun, Sia, Kingu Inkuka. Did you go see ya? Okay, so there's a door out there. We'll go there in a minute. He's also put his box on my ship as well, so I guess I should check that out. The one that we go, oh, oh, you don't open that. Oh, no. He sells good health kits here, and uh, I believe cheap. Plasma grenades, or was that someone else? I can't remember. You go to tattooing to get the box. Do you? Oh. I thought they said that they'd just load it on my ship. Let me have a look. I have a really no. I don't know, I, I'd take any kind of pizza you first see, I'm hungry. That's, yeah, no, not the right place. I think it's down there. Aha! Well done. Mysterious box. Do you wish to open the box? Oh dear! Maybe I shouldn't open the box. Look at that. Rakatan, I can't quite read that in this light. Kuyami just chicken na patoga ya pulke kukula jeje. Kawana bota eta dagwa. Kanki do ya kun wa tamel eta bola. Tong hai guam chiki yuma lipsa ag inko tu. Toko da bongwal ya gando de nara chocho. Kachicho ita au donga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kamba morera. Oh dear. King Kunsha King, Neken Kun no Mulara Jikun. Wama Kumbes, Chimpala Muli Tunera la Pruta. Don't get served. Ah, if I want to get this box to him now. Just got Raul, Cheska Nechu. Ochuba Cheska Wanki. The Toki Grato, 
con tica con que cachón pro. Bogra gualia na bongsha. Mexa jongsha chuba en lorda ita con. Rondi ha donga ku honga vi. Wala kun ves. Cheng pala moli ton king ba no con que. Tukning ta chokun. Nemo de la vez. Ita na danya ita. Wata yama ka wama ho kakne. Asho aktoron. Ume patoga. Wana kumbis chik mala mon tonki. Tapis yo bon konki pankpa. Chin pala cheska mole. Tone rana no prata tonka serche doma wana kombes toma. Ne shak shi lor cha kinku no ba mole reda ji kun. Ta konjos tak miki grabl mugo. Ka chicho ita haudonga. Tompa de bon gualia gando de nago chocho. Moga chaponka, bola wana chekne. Pa mulis limo pora na wanga kumbis mule rabest. Ka chicho ita hotonga. Yin kin kuno ba mulira chikun. Slimo putona, ronde hotonga kuonga bi. No way out of it. Ka chicho ita hotonga. Yin kin kuno ba mulira chikun. Slimo putona. Ronde haudonka kuonga bi. They do use white rooms as a sort of method of trying to drive people crazy, actually. When I say they, uh, well, I don't know, we're talking like CIA and that kind of thing. Uh, anyway. Jebedwana ni bobo. Tonga bong sha nong yang. Tong pa toga smak telia. Takon jos tak miki grabl mugo. Kachichu ita haudonga. Tong pa to bong walia gando de nago chocho. Moga sha ponka. Bola wana chekne. Pa mulis limo pora na wanga kumbis mule rabest. Rondi haudonga ku honga bi. Wala kumbes. Cheng pala muli tong king ba no kongkek. Tuk ning ta chokun ne mule rabest. Yin king ku no ba mule ra chikon. Tong hai tung kong cheng. Ne bobo je mata ne pong naj. Dolpe ki kyuna. Ki puna. Bona nae kachu. King ba muli ra duana. Don't gang ba no kun ne. Kaba don't pe kul pal ye ya mukata. Wanga kun bis gang bo mulera. Ka gang chana guang ba kun. Kaba don't pe kul pal ye ya potenya. Mana mara tota. Ako ji gratong bola je shwa konaton. Chon king no pang ba mula le konkile. Konkile no ba. Are we body swap or? Wala dime yokola unko mula re. Rondi hao donga ku honga bi, wala kumbes, cheng pala muli tong king ba no kongkek. Tuk ning ta chokun, ne mole ra best. Tong hai guam jiji yuma litha ag inko tu. Tong pata bong gualia gando de na aga chocho, ka chicho ita au donga. Yuma litha inko tu, jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kang ba mole ra, sha chiche en loa cha wata wama. Kaba volpe mole cha gumana, king kun sha king. Ne ken kun no mulara ji kun. Wama kumbes, chin pala muli tune rana pruta. Donke serche doma doma. Tonga bumsha unne no. Wanga kumbis ken. Ba mulera, chun yon tun jiji ite duana. Kabe volpe molche goma na. Ka chicho ita ho tonga. Yin kin kun no ba mulara ji kun. Slimo putona. Ronde hao donka ku honga bi. Kuya mi jius chetke na pato ga ya pulke ko kola jeje. Ka wana bota eta e tagwa. Tanki dora to kun wa tamel ita bola. Don't seem to have much of a choice. Jashak bukra onwa cheskat nechu. Achuba cheska wanki. Te toki grato kon tika konke kachon pro. Bogra walia na bongsha. Mexa jongsha chuba king lorna ita kun. Kaba ton pa kulpal ye mok pata. Bona nae kachu. Ye ki kun no ba muli ra chi kun. Tung na bongshong nong yang. Kaba bolpe molte kumana. Jebe duana ni bobo. Tung na bongsha nong yang. Until I am measured, I am not 
Until I am measured, I am not known. And how you miss me when I have flown. Till I am measured, I am not known. How you miss me when I have flown. Not known. Well. Light is kind of known, isn't it? Time is kind of constructed. I. Rondi haudonga ku honga vi. Wala kumbes. Cheng pala muli tong king ba no kuyami jus chit ke na pato. Rondi haudonga ku honga vi. Wala kumbes. Oh, 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 am I dead? Am I locked here forever? Game over. Game over. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's time. Um, let's load. And, uh, if I bring this, I'm assuming I can't... If I do this, if I open a box, I'm assuming I can't bring it to what's-his-name. He's told us his time, so he's given us the answer. Is the spoiler the answer to the riddle, or what's going to happen? Maybe I don't want to do this. At least they gave him a bed. Ah. Well, luckily they tell you it as well. That like, nah, nah, you're an idiot. The answer is time. <laughs> oh, I make a riddle. If you break me, I do not stop working. If you touch me, I may be snared. If you lose me, nothing will matter. Why did you open it again? You now know what happens? Well, I, I know one outcome. I, I want to see the other outcome. One has roots as nobody sees. It's taller than the trees. Up, up it goes and yet it never grows. What happens if you get out of here? I never was, yet always will be. I am never seen, yet always come. I can carry nothing. I hope much for some. Kipuna, Gava Dompa, Colpalie, Moka, Pachuta, Manga Kumbis, Dorpe Kikum. Can we beat him at this, or is it just endless riddles? You heard me before, yet you hear me again. Chachi Jane Lord Chawata Wama, Kava Wolbe Molche Gumana, King Kunsha King, Achuta. 
Who makes it has no need of it. Who buys it has no use for it. Who uses it has no knowledge of it. Oh, okay, okay. Who makes it has no need for it. Who buys it has no use for it. Well, no one's buying it, and they do have use for it. A grave? Yeah, who makes it doesn't need the grave. Who buys it... Who uses it has no knowledge of it. It's got to be a grave. Does this ever end, or...? What is root... Flying to Dantuin, I meet five ships. Each ship has five crewmen. Each crewman, five pets. How many in all are flying to Dantuin? That seems a bit easy. Okay, five ships. Five times five is 25. 25 times five is... 25 times five is not... This could be 125, hasn't it? Yeah. That seems like an easy one, very technical. No? Oh, only one is flying to Dantuin. Ah. I am always hungry. I must always be fed. The finger I lick will soon turn red. Well, um... Finger I lick? Yeah, well, a flame would... Would do that, wouldn't it? Kachicho itaho donga yin king kuno achuta wanga. And see nothing else when you look in my face. I will look you in the eye and I will never lie. What does that even mean? Oh, yeah, flying to Dantang, I meet five ships. How many in all are flying to Dantuang? Well, how do you know, really? Okay, what, what one do we want to bring? Maybe that might confuse him. Tota. There we go. And I come back as him. Well, I got the numbers right at least, but I, I got the riddle wrong. Like I missed out the bit that I'm returning to dancing. Before I go, what's your name? Maybe I could destroy the prison. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't like numbers. Oh, 
What are you make a warm up for her neck? Don't a bush a one no. One got cool biscuit. Bamulera. Junior to Gigi it the Duana. Cabe bowl the molje coma na. Cachicho ita hotonga. Yin king kuno ba mulira chikun. Slimo potona. Ronde a donka kuonga bi. Rondi ha donga ku honga bi, wala kung bes, cheng pala muli tong king ba no kung kek. Tuk ning ta chokun, ne mole da bes, tong hai wam chiji yuma lipta ag inko tu. Tok da bong wali agando de na aga chocho, ka chicho ita au donga. Yuma lipta inko tu, jelo moran benu bobo. Wango kung bis kang ba, mole da, cha chichi en lor cha wata wama, ka ba volpe mol cha kumana. Kim kung sha kim? Ne ken kun no mulara jikun. Wama kumbes, chimpala mule tunera la pruta. Donke serche doma toma. Uyita na danya yeta. Wata yama ka wama bokak ne. Ashwak toyong, umne patoga. Wana kumbis chikmala mul tonki. <laughs> um, we've all, we've tried that, tried that. What? Why Robert Ng? Really? What the wama molere? Can kunjo peshwa? No ba molere ji? Jon yon te chiwi da dia. Maybe you get fucked over either way. Ba molere es limo ran con best king. I don't know how I feel about this whole thing. Journal entry added. Box doesn't seem to be active anymore. Perhaps it can only be used once by each owner. Do I... Uh... Do I want to bring him the box? Do, do I want to have gone in there? Would it be better if I hadn't gone in there? I'm gonna leave chat with these questions while I go and piss. Uh, I've got AC here and Trisis for it still, so uh... I think you might be right, Sarah Kay. I might just load again. But I gotta piss and uh, I'll be back and we'll, we'll find out.
Okay, here I am. Uh, so I'm leaning towards, without having read anyone's, you know, input, I'm leaning towards loading again because I know the answers to the riddles now and I can just do it if I uh, don't, you know, I can just redo it if I don't get, you know, any downside from it. Um, following that, I'm also thinking... If this thing can only be used once, maybe it fucks over this moth of the heart. Maybe it'll be like, uh, you opened it, it doesn't work anymore. So I'm leaning towards saying, yeah, load again, and, uh... Because if needed, I could just open it again, couldn't I? See, I can't remember if I got XP or not. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna load. So, the, I'm going to pronounce this wrong because I don't know how to say it. The Rakatan built the Star Forge 25,000 years ago. Ooh, one time ago. Ever, ever, ever. I heard rumors that Cabbage puts his worst rivals inside that box. I wonder how many he has captured over his years as a green tyrant. Probably a lot. I, I would imagine a lot. Quite disturbing to think about. So I'm, I'm gonna load again then. I, cause, oh, oh, wait, wait, huh? Wait, huh? No, wait. Oh shit. Was that saved despite my load? Oh, wait. Huh? Doesn't seem to be active anymore. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the nearest one then. Does it save, no matter what you've done? I think I've already talked to this nice line. Nice to see saved, you again. Hold on. To okay, uh... I must have done. Let's check on it, let's check on it. Afterwards we can go to the exit here and look around for this, these ruins and all of that. And I never really know, I can never really tell. Speaking of heather, I mean heather, heather, heather. Find it. No, it's not down there, is it? Or is it? Uh, I never really, I never really know my way around this ship. Do you wish to open a box? No, do not open the box. You wish to open the box? No, do not open the box. Oh wow, we got a heather emoji! It's so heather. Oh my heather. Heather, heather, heather. Okay, so we haven't irreversibly fucked anything up. Let's go to the exit here. There's a door here, I remember. Where was it? That it was, it was down here.
Exit from Greshte. There we go. The Sith Academy entrance? Oh, wow. Okay, that, that, that warrants a save. You can use speed. Can I? I Do I have that? I, I don't think I have that. I got cure. Uh... Oh, wow. We're, yeah, we're properly outdoors now. Get out of my way, Jesus. Ooh, loot, loot, loot. Here we go. I'll tell you what I can get. What about the other box? There's clearly another box there. Wait, why are we pretending these other boxes aren't a thing? I don't get it. Oh my god! Who's this? Beep, 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 ooh! It's just sort of selectively not seeing these other boxes. Yeah, I wasn't that big on the motion blur, but I would use it if it was there. But, yeah, it, it isn't there. I, d I don't think, anyway, I, I don't think my character has it. I can never really tell, though. Okay, we're going to have some part where they're probably going to get killed if I don't say the right thing, so. There we go, here say point is. Yeah, they're not going to be, uh... Okay, let's see if we can stop this bullshit from happening. Is there something specific you wanted? And what if I am? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a banter, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. Oh, it's a test, all right. It's a test to see if they're actually fool enough to die. If they don't, however, I certainly wouldn't admit them just for that accomplishment. You should not toy with people's lives. Hmm. It's a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. Oh, 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 hey, get back here, shocker. Oh, hey. Back here. Ah. Do extra defense and a plus one or plus two attacks per round. Ah. So, speed is good. Gotta do something, haven't we? 
Leave me be. Cut. Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Obviously death, however, since I... No, you may not. I'm busy amusing myself. Leave me be. Cut. Good. Please, don't hurt me. You'll get your turn soon enough, fool. And when you do, I will be there. Hey, uh... Do I have a bit of food? Is there something specific? And what if I am? That is the whole point, idiots. You demand. Why would I listen to you? You should not toy with people. Hmm. They'll still be here in a... Okay. Uh... You talk to Meckle? Pretty new, he said he should go home. I don't believe you. You... Leave... Leave me be. Just... Just a few... Oh, he... He conked out. So I convinced one of them. Okay, Tua, we're gonna really cheese. <laughs> we're gonna really cheese this. We're gonna save after we've talked to him. Then we're gonna save scum each and every one of them. It's leaving. That's what we're gonna do. Leave me be. Good. Heroism. There we go now. Is there something specific? And what if I am? That is the whole point, idiots. Oh, it's a test, all right. You should not toy. Hmm. They'll still be here in a. Okay. <laughs> now we make another save. And um, yeah, each time we get one passed, we just make another save and gradually get them done. Anyone seen a preview for the Acolyte? I, I'm afraid I never really know. I can never really tell. Okay, run answer. We're gonna... No. Oh, fuck off. Do I have to do this? I'll do it a couple more and then I won't bore you all with this. Maybe the other one has a better thing. Maybe the other one's got a higher chance. Oh, okay, we got one. That was the right thing to do. Turn him away from the Sith. Okay. That's one less for you lot. Uh, let's make another save. <laughs> Ah. Oh. 
I will make it into the academy. Just, just a few hours longer. Just a few hours, surely. Leave, leave just, just. A so the others won't have it. I could only do one. You talk to Meckle? No, no. Have I proved? Oh, no. All this for nothing. Okay, so we have. Oh, oh, he's dead. Fuck. Leave, leave me be just, just a few. Leave, leave just, just a few hours. Ah, uh, so we can't get this one. Hello. You are neither a Sith nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please leave at once. On your way, citizen. Okay, more save scummery. There we go. You are neither a Sith. No one gets inside. Ah. You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision must be made by a I have a really no AC. I can the tell. The final decision, however, remains oh, wow. with Master Yuthura. I believe she is currently at the cantina if you wish to seek her out. Now go. You are neither a Sith. Oh, that's one of the ones I can repeat. It is the device given to one who has been accepted into the Academy, but has not yet proved their worth as a student. If one of the Sith decides you are worthy, you will be given one. Which you must then take to Yuthora Ban, who I believe is in the cantina. It is she who decides which hopefuls enter the Academy. <laughs> we can just repeatedly lie to him until it passes. No one gets... It is the device... If one of the Sith... No one. You must be admitted. The final dis. You are neither a Sith. No one gets it. It is the device. If one of the Sith decides. No one gets it. You must be admitted. The final decision, however, remains with Master. You are neither a Sith. No one. Is it not it is the device work, I guess? If one of the Sith decides you are... No one gets in... It is the device so there's no way the that Sith works, then. No one gets... You must be admit the final dis... You are neither a Sith... No one gets... It is the device given... If one of the Sith... No one gets... It is the device given... If one of the Sith... Ah. No one so this skillity check is just Sith. fake then it no doesn't one get on your way well it doesn't seem to disappear so it can't hurt come back he still doesn't want to go leave me be just, just all right go fuck yourself then uh let's go fight the Sith. that might get us enough xp to uh get a rank up as well yeah, I like that one, yeah. Yeah, ever since that, I've been wary of them, because I, I remember hearing that some of them just don't pass. He said the cantina, and this is the cantina, isn't it? Ah, here we go. A grey purple woman. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good, for I have little patience. I am. Obviously, you have been told of me. Is it your desire, then, to train at the Academy? Do you wish to become a Sith human? So do I tell them I want to join, or is that going to get me into trouble with my Jedi friends, or...? I would have her. And yet, here you are in Little Korriban just by accident? I find it hard to believe. If it amuses you, however, I'll play along. We wield ultimate power, my friend. To be a Sith is to taste freedom and to know victory. 
Nothing is as glorious as bending the force to your will. Hide-bound relics who burden themselves with tradition and with the protection of the weak and ungrateful. They are pitiful and misguided. Why would you take a gift as glorious as the Force and squander it? Weaken yourself deliberately and shackle yourself to outdated mores. Our gift has made us superior. It is our rightful place to rule. How can any deny that? Yet the Jedi do so and call us evil because we do not. You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? So I tell him I want to join. Ah, oh, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? As I thought, how interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. Or are you here to spy on us? For all the good it would do. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? What does this mean? These are the same answer, but one of them says lie. Suede lie. Yes, it does. I wish to become a Sith. Suede. Yes, it does. I wish to become a Sith. I see. Somehow, however... No, my friend. I'll not be the one to bring you into our academy. If one of the other Sith accept you and give you a medal... But otherwise... Okay. You again. But I have already told you your end. Ah. Uh, we got... These bits of the persuasion checks are such a pain in the ass. Uh, where is the one I've got then? I think... This? Or... Yeah, this. Okay, so, so if I choose the one that isn't a lie, I actually become a Sith. But if I choose the one that is a lie... Then it's like, nah, you don't want to be Sith. I'm just pretending, uh... Well, I want to fight for Sith and take their medallion, but I, uh, I'm not getting the option, am I? Is there something you need? I am. <laughs> An interesting question enough. We wield ultimate power, my... We make no apologies for the weak. Of those who come to trade. If you lie, you get dark side points. So... I don't get it. Why why are you telling me to lie then? I <laughs> hide bound rep. Why would you take a gift as our gift has made us You've heard enough. Ah, oh, so obviously you are <laughs> as you wish. With that kind of power. Ah, oh, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. Yes. I... Yes. Yes. <laughs> we are only servants to the... the Master. There is something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now... Are you ready to go to the Academy? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Okay, I did persuade Lai and passed that. Is that the right thing? I... I guess. I... 
Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? Oh, wait, what, what, oh. Hold on, hold on. Look Untrue. The oh, Jedi equate Get out of my way, hour. get we out of my way. I just joining with us. What say you, lad? I don't ah, piss off. I'm trying to load. I, much. I, am always. I, I don't care, you, just young. load. An honest end. Now then, the one who succeeds. <sighs> As Master Uth, what is an act of war? If you wish to gain the rest, is for. Do I really have to skip all that just to pause and load? Oh my god. Okay. Now, now that we've got that over and done with, so now I know that if you do that, you can't fight the Sith. Right, where's where do I go to fight the Sith? Where are they? That hey, looks like what's a bunch this? of them. Looks like we found ourselves a bit of sport, my friends. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the Academy. Me too. So how about it, chump? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I just didn't realize you? there was a group of them I could fight. Uh, or like where they would be. Oh, yeah. You know it. Let I know I will. Okay. Dance lightsaber throw all round, I think. There we go. Oh, am I on my ass? Oh, 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 they got a bit of a whack on me. Adhesive, mate. I seem to be sort of dead. Am I dead? Who, who, huh? What is going on here? Okay, one of them's dead. Uh, oh dear. Where where are my adhesive grenades? All gone or? Ah, shit. Yeah, we're gonna have to rank, do a few rank ups there. I, it's weird. It said that I had like 12 of the grenades, and then when I used it, it just seemed to all disappear at once. We'll, we'll open with throwing one, then we'll throw the lightsabers, and maybe that will be a better combo. Hey, what's this? This is good. Me too. So how Kipona. You know it. I know I will. See oh no, not twelve, two. Ah. Ah, I used two of them. <laughs> he seems to be a bit stuck there. Oh, okay. My force is depleted. I think we're going to have to throw another one then, aren't we?
You need to level up Johanny before she dies. Will in one moment. One of the weak ones, I think, maybe. Yeah, that one will do. Okay, one of them's very close to death, so which one is it? Him. Okay, I think he's getting ranked up. And I think they're both getting ranked up. Yeah, okay. Mm, what do we go for with him again? That could be a good idea, AC. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. If I die, then uh, yeah, we'll try again. Um, I'm trying to remember what I usually go with for him. Strength, yeah. Strength sounds good. Skills, I've been doing a lot on tree injury, clearly. Honey is un unequipped? I thought I gave her a lightsaber. Huh. Just go a tree injury. Now, now, he can have another feat. Two weapon fighting. Yeah, but they still have quite a lot of health left, the enemies, so I could still get use out of energy shields, couldn't I? Okay, so we could go with Master Power Attack. We could go with Master Power Blast. We could go with Rude Rapid Shock. Go with a lot of things. I never really know. Two weapons. Okay, I got two people telling me to go with two weapons, so there we go. And then next time we can get that one if I need it. Okay, he's ranked up. I think he has an energy shield on, doesn't he? He does. Or does he? Yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's got the Mandalorian shield. Who used that? Right, she needs a rank up, and... No, she does have a lightsaber equipped. But she hasn't got much else, has she? Jesus, yeah. We'll just give her whatever we can give her. She doesn't have a blaster, so that's pointless. She can't have that. His shield doesn't work on sabers. Fuck. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, well, what can I do? Uh, right. What are we giving her? Awareness, tree injury, maybe? 
Ah, yeah, I got the Verpine Belt. I, I'm thinking maybe those two, or... That seems about right, doesn't it? Or, or is there a better one I could go for here? Awareness and injury. Sounds good. Beats. Also, I appreciate all the help that you two are giving me, by the way. It's, uh, it's rare you get people that are a good balance between, like, helping you and, like, not spoiling things. And you, sometimes you get people who want to tell you everything, and then it's like, eh, oh, well, you know, why am I even playing it? I might as well just... Does she a power attack? I... She does. She, there is an increased one she can get. Power attack two. Okay, I got pretty much in agreement there. Power attack two. Oh, oh, and now she can have a power. But she has speed on her. She can affect mind. Could I use her to affect the mind of uh, those people? Or does it not work? Does it have to be on Heather? Plague. Oh. Deathly ill. Poison. Who'd give her throw lightsaber? I don't think she has a force seal, does she? Ah, mind powers only work on Heather. They should make that clear, because you could put, you know, things into that and just get, yeah. Maybe a cure would be good for her. Okay, now now we got a bit of a toss up here because uh, we got one vote for affliction and one for cure. Let's have a little look. Where is affliction and what does it do? Affliction causes a target to suffer as though poisoned. So it's a poisoning thing. Yeah, I am leaning towards cure because it's one that I do use as a crutch quite a lot. I like to use that to save on getting health packs. Okay. And she's got another one ready to go. So does he. So uh, we're going to win this fight. Her health is pretty good. What do we want to... Aha! Ah, ah! I knew I forgot something. She hasn't used a shield. Yes, now. And I should use a shield. There we go. Wow, one of them's just had his health empty totally in just a matter of no time at all. Where'd all his health go? Okay, uh... I am actually being summoned away, so I'm just gonna go with this, and if they survive, they survive. If not, there's something for uh, the next go. Not sure. I think we might have to equip him with a shield that works. But, uh, yeah. I'm getting summoned away, so. 
Construction kit, battle stimulant, Sif medallion. There we go. And the rest of you. Credits. Very nice. We'll have that. And I loot the others. Yeah, I figured that. I honestly didn't think I would pass that. The only reason I did you know, didn't rank him up was because I thought, ah, I'm going to have to go in a minute anyway. I may as well just let them all die. And But, uh, I, yeah, I wasn't actually expecting to survive. Uh, um, <laughs> well, we won. Yeah, what do you want? Okay, let's heal him up choice. while I, uh, get ready to go. Because, yeah, I'm fortunately having someone off. I got to go. But... She will use her new healing power. Thank fuck I got that. What? There we go. So she. I'll slowly walk back to that woman and let the, uh... <laughs> Let the four spars char charge up again. There we go. So. Yeah, she has a pretty piddly amount, doesn't she? Yeah. Ah, well. Well, we wasted all of them against the odds. Uh, by the time I reach her, I'll probably have full four spars. So next time. There's another Sith. Oh, oh. Well then, we'll be doing that. Okay. So let's make a save. Yeah, I gotta go though. So, the next stream will be on Thursday. It will be Generation Zero, I expect. Can't guarantee, but probably that. Then on Saturday, there will be Resident Evil Director's Cut. And then on Sunday, there'll be Resident Evil 6 with Cabbage. Ooh. <laughs> Once you become a Sith, you can do anything. You can feel the power coursing through you. None of you fools can compare to me. <laughs> we are pleased at your success, but... Please! You're jealous. You're jealous of my power. Okay. You you We're going to kill him in the next Star Wars stream. The next one of these, I don't know for sure, but it'll probably be Tuesday. <laughs> I have the probably. Power to do anything. But I'll have a better idea of that once I've uh, done a few more streams and I know what's next. Okay, I'm going to leave it on this note. Thanks everyone for being here, for the donations, memberships, and all the help, the stories, and just being pretty cool in general. I will see you all next time.